Hello everyone, this is Daniel with Chef Dan's Hookah YouTube channel. I know we usually do hookah shisha reviews and things like that, but I have recently got into 3D printing, and two of my models are the Anticubic Cobra Max and the Cobra Plus. This method will work for both because, as you can see, the only difference aside from obviously bed size is they both, as you can see, have the Z-Sync belts. So, many people have asked, how am I going to level this manually and the simple answer is that you really can't not the normal way because as you can see there's no adjustment knobs underneath the bed so even though you can't adjust it this way you can do it however by adjusting the X bar so here are the tools that you'll need the flat wrench that came with your toolkit if you don't have one just something thin will do that way you can set the distance in between the top of the gears and the stabilizer. A 2 millimeter Allen wrench. And two leveling blocks of some kind as long as they're both solid and don't smash or crush or anything else. These ones I got off of Thingiverse. Print them off yourself or just use a couple other kind of blocks. And the method for this is very simple. First, make sure you're unplugged. Even though it's unplugged, also make sure your power is off because, you know, electronics do crazy things even when they're powered off. Move your tool head over to the center so it's right in the middle. Do it very slowly so that way you don't generate any feedback into your motherboard and possibly fry it. And then you can do this. Take your 2 millimeter Allen key here. And for the purposes of time, I have already loosened mine. There are four grub screws. Two in here and two on the other side. Loosen them up, but don't take them all the way out because grub screws are hard to find if you drop them. If you do, just make sure you have spares on hand. That way, the gears can spin freely. And then, on either side... Sorry about the instability... On the other side of the bed, make sure, I'll move that out of the way, set your bars, your blocks on either side of the tool head. If you're going to use like a Creality printer, which this will work for too, those two little nubbles at the bottom, just make sure that they're in between the um, channels on the V bars. You know, the up and down bars thing, you know what I mean. And then, you can, I'll see if I can get this to do it right, move your bars until they're sitting on top, and to make it go down, you turn it counterclockwise until it's resting on top, until you can't move it down or press it down anymore. then once you've achieved that and you can't move it down anymore you take your screw your um, wrench here for those that are British or in other countries like that you'd call it a spanner and then here's the hard part you take it and either from the side here or from the back or you can even use that as a stabilizer Take it in, put it in between the top of the gear here and the underside of the stabilizer. Let me get that in there. Ah, sorry. See how it's sitting on top of the gear? And the hard part. Push it up there and hold it there while you screw in the grub screws. Okay. Now... I'm going to pause it and do this as quickly as I can. Thank you for your patience. So just hold your thumb on the bottom of the gear and hold it up while the thing is there to set the distance in between the top of the stabilizer and the bot and the the top of the um the drive uh, the X uh, the Z sync gear. Excuse me. 
and the underside of the stabilizer. That'll set the distance in between the two. Once you do that, you can remove your leveling blocks. Preferably do them at the same time so it keeps them even. And then, plug in your machine, turn it on. Hit prepare, leveling, auto leveling. And do, just do what it says. Calibration successful. And then you just level it as normal. I hope this has helped. After you do the leveling, run a, um, like a two millimeter layer test, you know, like the small score in the middle or even the full bed size one. And everything should come out nice and even and pretty. After that, go to town on your printing. And if there's any questions, please put them in the comments. Like and subscribe. And I hope this helps all of you. Otherwise, this is Chef Dan. I'll talk to you all later. Happy printing.